Sydney Stadium here in Parramatta where your W League action continues here this afternoon with the very first Sydney Derby of the season. So who will take the bragging rights? Will it be the home side, the Western Sydney Wanderers or the visitors at Sydney FC? Once again, delivered closer this time. Plenty of bodies in the area. Oh, and there's a wind-up. Oh, it just goes wide of the goal. And wow, couldn't that have been a cracking opening goal? Taylor Ray. That's a terrific effort. Again, it's a dangerous corner, which is well defended. Karmas again, defensively, has been prominent for the Wanderers. And Taylor Ray latching onto that one. Great backstory too, Margot Chavez. Uh, three years old, she was on the Ivory Coast with her father, who's a, a warden at the French Embassy. Oh, could be on here for Remy Simpson. Simpson lining it up, tries to tip it over Newbon. Off the crossbar and great attempt for Sydney FC. Well, it's a squandered chance. Newbon decided not to come and put pressure and retreated. The whole goal was open. It's a brilliant chance for Sydney. Simpson started the game well. Well, I'm not sure if this is allowed to be said. But the Illawarra Stingrays have been such a staple in women's football. She'll have what a ball there through for Courtney Vine. The first goal of the W League season goes to Courtney Vine on enemy territory. And what a way for the Sky Blues to open their campaign. It's a super first touch from Courtney Vine. And more importantly, it's an emphatic second touch. Had to be good on both counts to get past Courtney Newbon in the Wanderers goal. And Vine does just that. Vine runs forward again. Remy Simpson this time. Simpson got a good look and it's slightly put it in by Mackenzie Hawksby who looked like she had a great view of goal. Palmed away by Courtney Newbon. That's a great run out of midfield. Vine to Simpson. She's been very good. In same, same neck of the woods as well. Although I'm assuming there was no cricket on scholarship offer at UCLA Bruins. <laughs> you might be safe with that one. Pelias finds a beanie. Sydney FC with a shot. Princess Abini, what a finish into the top corner. And Sydney FC, two goals to the good. Abini's been dangerous all game. Skips inside, Mados. And that's the finish of a queen, not a princess. <laughs> nice. You know, on top of that, they lost uh, Alana Kennedy, Chloe Legazzo, and Caitlin Ford, as well as Veronica Latsko. Indeed. I mean, they're massive names. Huge, but uh, comporting themselves beautifully here. Toby through to Abini. Can Abini get another? Yes, she can. It's a brace for Princess Abini. Another beautiful finish into the roof of the net. Two for Abini. That's three for Sydney FC. Three goals clears. Probably a par result. Clearly the dominant team. And Princess Abini, right from the start today, has been very difficult to handle. 3-0, the same margin as the round 12 clash of last season between these sides. Middleton gets it forward. Keane. Oh, Beanie no. says, no, thank you. And Sydney FC do indeed keep their clean sheet. A wonderful display from the sky blue side of town to take out the 17th Sydney Derby. And fantastic goals they were too on 26 minutes. It was Courtney Vine that opened the scoring against her old teammates. Princess Abini with an absolute cracker on 60 minutes, followed it up almost half an hour later with another to give herself a brace for today.